Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to create VLC video player app in our Xamarin forms application. So you can see in my screen, the video player app has been embedded for both Android as well as iOS. And this video player has several options as fit screen along with that fill and 16 to 9 ratio. It has slider too. And then if we rotate our screen, then it will present us full screen mode. Without wasting our time, let's create a new Xamarin Forms blank application project and then embed VLC video player plugin inside our new Xamarin Forms project. Let's create a new Xamarin Forms project. Select Xamarin Forms and then click on next. Give your project name as VLC video app and then create a new project. Here I'll be selecting blank project and then for Android as well as iOS and then click on OK. Inside our solution explorer, right click on your main solution, then manage NuGet package. We need to verify that whether we are on latest version of Xamarin forms or not at first. So right now I am in 4.1, I need to upgrade to 4.1.0.67 it might be greater for you but we need to get latest version of Xamarin forms right now then at first we are going to use VLC SAP NuGet package in our Xamarin forms project so in this documentation they have clearly mentioned install live VLC SARP for all the project in our Xamarin forms. So we are going to embed live VLC SARP in our all the projects at first and then the second plugin that is live VLC SARP dot forms also need to be added to all the projects. Now inside our main activity of Android project we need to add this renderer and that will get inherited from our live VLC SARP and for our iOS 2 we are going to add that renderer which is defined inside our plugin at first let's clean our Xamarin form solution Now let's go to our main page.xaml. This page is my starting page. I am going to use our video view inside our main page.xaml. This is the video view for our VLC video player. This video view inherits from our live VLC SARP. So this is our shared namespace along with our assembly for our live VLC SARP. Now, I am going to copy our source provider for our live VLC SARP that is at first we are going to use live VLC library which will create one object and core.initialize will initialize our VLC player from our platform specific project that is Android as well as iOS and then a variable media will collect our URL location along with that library VLC and then our video view from our main page.xaml that's all now our next task is to add the font of some icons that were used in this plugin so we'll go to our font awesome icons that is fontawesome.com and then we should select start for free then for our desktop we are going to download font awesome icons for free now let's extract our font awesome icons
now let's go to otfs folder it has three font awesome icon files i'm going to rename it please make sure that your renamed file name and my renamed file names are matching here i'm renaming all the three files that is font awesome 5 brands dot otf font awesome 5 regular and font awesome 5 solid dot otf now let's drag and drop all those three files inside our assets folder of android project now let's go to resources folder of ios project now i am going to drag and drop all those three files inside our resources folder inside our info.plist we need to edit it that is we need to add extra line of code for our info.plist to understand that there are three font or some icons that we have embedded that are font awesome 5 brands font awesome 5 regular and font awesome 5 solid.otf inside our project and our last step is to add another plugin that is the LAN plugin for our both Android as well as iOS that are given by VLC video player so that has been added inside our Xamarin Forms project and for our iOS 2 the video LAN we need to add that's all now we are ready for playing our first video player app in our Xamarin Forms Android project so we are presented with our video player in our Android project let's see whether it gives us same output in our iOS project or not I am already connected with my Mac okay our video player is running in our Xamarin Forms iOS project too if you are finding any error any issues then you can comment down below we'll solve that issue together that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials